wonderful word used in all languages. What is it? It is the series of things we need to make us really good at what we do. So if a potter has great craft, he, like the potter Malcolm Wright, knows how to throw a pot, knows how to move the wheel, knows how to do the side so that it doesn't come out a lump and mass as can happen so easily. He knows how to apply a celadon glaze so that when it goes into the kiln to be fired, then chance takes over and it becomes a work of art, which we'll talk about later. But the craft, if Malcolm Wright didn't have ultimate craft, he would not be able to make a pot like this. Similarly, when we play the flute, we must know how to play wonderful arpeggios that are in tune. We must know how to play our scales. We must know how to articulate so that each note is clear. These are the basic aspects of our playing, which are essential. Without them, there can't be any art, there can't be any communication. Nothing can happen if it isn't for our craft. I believe very strongly that we must master the craft of our instruments so that we can transcend it, so that we can become artists. And that we'll talk about later. But the first part, this word, craft, I treasure. Because when I hear a student, I see a student come to the door, and I know that student, this happened just yesterday, a student had prepared, is up to number 23 of the 24 Anderson Opus 15 Etudes, Lyndon Wu. And he was determined this summer that he would master those etudes. And they give us so much. They're wonderful music, yes. And they do contain art. But they're about things that challenge us just in the playing of our instruments. Similarly, the Tafanel and Gobert, that incredible group of studies. All of Marcel Moise's, he was thinking all the time about craft. He was a great artist, but he would sit, I hear, in the pit of the, when he was playing in the opera in Paris, and he would be thinking of another way to solve a particular fingering problem, and then he would write it down. And we have that wonderful legacy. So, I think we should treasure that word and see it for what it is.